I've done here is I've uh, put a, a 10 watt 1 ohm resistor going straight direct into the uh, the positive in so I can uh, measure the current going in through my oscilloscope and then I've got the other lead coming out off the LED so we can measure the voltage on the LED to see what the uh, the voltage versus the current looks like it's a, it's a bit of a mess of wires here I'm using uh, two batteries at the second to get a nice uh, clean scope view so if I show you this now they're, uh, they're both on the one centimeter per division range and we haven't got much for the current here but uh, if I was to move this down onto the millivolts range that's 50 millivolts there you'll notice that uh, you can see at this point when the voltage goes up you can see the uh, the current starts to rise and then when the voltage goes down again the current starts to uh, go down again and it follows that same path uh, I don't know if you can see there when it actually goes off we get a little a twinge and when it comes on fully we get a little twinge uh, I think that's the uh, counter EMF if I can just put this up a couple of ranges now and then use the delay function you'll be able to see that little twinge that I was talking about that overlaps where it comes on and if we move further down the waveform you'll be able to see that other little one there that uh, when it goes off so if I bring the time base back down again you can see actually when the current is kicking in with the voltage and that uh, it will be the area under the graph of which is the uh, the actual current going in because it's a pulse circuit the same as it's the area under the graph which will be the uh, the voltage. I've been working on this. I've got this uh, little 5.5 uh, volt 0.22 farad capacitor. Now, uh, what I want to do is start charging that up from it. But uh, I've got my uh, battery switcher circuit uh, just on transistors all working. But, uh, you physically have to uh, switch this one on, switch that one on to uh, swap them over at the moment. So I just need to work on an oscillator for that and also I've got a little solar panel here that uh, what I want to do is uh, start charging these super caps up so you can uh, use them another time and uh, see how uh, quickly that charges and how long it lasts on the light so I've got a few things going on here that's great then and thanks for watching